Hey guys. Ouch. A little loud there, huh? Try to go back a little bit. Hey guys, this is Steve here. And I'm going to go ahead and launch Real Flight 95 here. And this is with the Spectrum WS1000 dongle plugged in in my DX9 transmitter. And just as a reminder, my flight mode switch is on channel 5. And my throttle hold is on channel 7. So, um, so first of all, this is a little, this is very confusing, but um, I'm going to go to select controller here. And I need to. Uh, let's see. Crank down real flight volume quite a bit here. It's a little annoying, wasn't it? That's still annoying. Give that almost nothing. Give it one one little click of volume there. See what we get. There we go. So anyway, going back to um, when you first first start up Real Flight here with the dongle plugged in, transmitter is on and bound. It's a DX9 transmitter. So I'm gonna go in here and select controller. And I don't quite understand this. Um, I think everybody's using. I mean, this works. It's the Spectrum receiver. 7 plus. I don't know if that's a profile they put in here automatically. I think they do. Um, another thing you can do is I did um, you can select gamepad if you have a, let's say you have a more generic interface. I'm using the spectrum interface. Um, it'll work on either one of these. I'm going to go ahead and do you know, this, I think this is what everybody's using so I'm not sure. I'll go through both of them. How's that sound? Let's just make a long freaking video. Um, so if you select gamepad, this is the default one that's in there, and tell it you want to edit it. And I'm like, so first of all, if I move my throttle, right, what I did just to make this, because they're going to come up on certain channels, that's my throttle channel, it's coming up on elevator. I'm just going to clear these all out, start from scratch, so there's nothing assigned to them, right? And we can go through them one by one to kind of give you an idea. So now I have absolutely nothing mapped at all. So I'm going to save this because you can't edit the default one, which we're on the default one, just as gamepad. So I'm going to save this as what is called gamepad three because I was playing earlier. I got a gamepad two in there. So we just made a new one. Um, go completely out here. So now I'm going to say select controller. And we're going to load that blank one, right? That I just it's already going to do that. But another thing is that you could say. You should always, um, uh, I'm going to assume you've already calibrated your stick or your controller. You usually don't have to. I'm going to skip this stuff for now, otherwise this video is going to be two hours long. Um, so click edit on this. This is the blank one we just created from the default one. And you can see I move my sticks. Nothing's moving in here because nothing's really assigned. So we'll start out with, I'd say, the throttle channel, right? So we're going to say... Um, we'll take channel 3, even though my transfer, this is confusing because my transfer is putting on channel 1, but I think these are internal to real flight, and then over here where it says unassigned, that's where we're going to bring things in from the, you know, from my actual DX9 and dongle. So for throttle, I'm going to come over here and click this. I'm going to move my throttle channel and see what that did that assigned it. Um, I also see it appears to be backwards. If I move my stick up, it's going down. If I move my stick down, it's going up. So apparently this needs to be reversed, right? So now my throttle goes up and down with my stick. And over here is the channel it's coming in on. They call it Z rotation off the game pad that we're using here. Now if you choose the other one, it's going to work about the same way. And I'm going to go in through that really quickly after we do this one by one. So now I just have my throttle uh, channel programmed in here. And then for that all we need for it. I think we also have a separate I'm gonna go with just that for now. You see down here it says enable software radio mixes. I think that automatically puts the throttle and the pitch together. We'll find out in a minute. So so we have throttle. I believe having this checked here is gonna give me that one channel is gonna do the same thing to both um, 
I can also see my sticks halfway right now. We're going to need to calibrate because you know these these are going to start out uncalibrated completely. So I'm at half stick right here and it's showing. So that's going to we'll we'll get we'll catch that on the next step. But that's going to need to be calibrated. Um, so what we'll do next is rudder, which I'm moving my rudder right now. You can see there's nothing on here. So I'm going to come over here, click that. It's going to auto detect my rudder channel. Uh, my rudder is also backwards. I'm giving it left rudder right now. So I'm going to click that. There's some left rudder. There's right rudder. Kind of odd that that one's nice and center and the throttle's not, but we'll come back to that. Um, so we have rudder and we have throttle working so far. So what's next is we'll do aileron. So come over here to the uh, aileron, click the assign button here, push the aileron channel. And that looks like it's also backwards. We'll find out when we go to fly what's backwards and what's not for sure. But there's right aileron, there's left aileron, just by clicking the reverse here. So now we need elevator. So we're going to do that for the elevator. Elevator, I have no idea what's up and down, right and left. So we'll just we'll just try to fly that and see what happens. We have throtter, rudder, throtter, rudder. Uh, aileron here and elevator it's all working uh, dual rates I don't even use dual rates I'm a full rate fanatic uh, if you want to just have a, if you have enough channels you can put one you can mess with that or whatever or, you know maybe map it on your keyboard too if you don't have enough channels but I'm not even gonna mess with that for now um, with helis one thing that's very very confusing is I believe uh, smoke then they might have fixed it but I'm, I'm just gonna roll with this as we go here so next thing we're gonna do we're gonna do our uh, flight modes which is my left switch up here three-way so we'll detect this hit that switch so you see we got three different values here that should work they may need to be reversed if you know for getting 100% throttle on you know click one which is away from me we'll adjust it as we fly so so that is channel on my actual transmitter. That's channel five. That's doing that for flight mode. Um, so throttle hold, we definitely want that, do we not? So we'll detect that. That's my channel seven, my um, right hand switch, just like you see on uh, real real flights controller. So that's definitely backwards. I'm hitting my throttle hold where I like it, and it's showing oh, pretty much the wrong way. So now my throttle holds in the right direction. So hopefully some of that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and save this as it is, and we'll see if this actually flies or not. So we just saved Gamepad 3, I believe. All right, and we're selected on Gamepad 3. Let's see if this thing flies. Uh, it does not fly. Let's reset it. it might, I don't see any blades on that thing. Here we go. Throttle hold. Yeah, so I'm not, I think my flight, yeah, my flight modes are backwards. So let's go in there. I'm on uh, normal mode and I, my sw switch is, yeah, that should be flight mode three, which would be full idle up 100%. So that's definitely backwards. So we're going to go back in here. Do, 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 and just, we'll edit that. Let's try, um, let's try reversing the flight mode here. And this thinks this is a joystick, so just this is I think this is where they said it's really, really confusing. These are the channels that Real Flight's seeing, not the actual channels from your transmitter. This is what the gamepad is seeing <laughs> from the transmitter is Y rotation. So reverse that, save, close. I think my throttle holds backwards now. Yep. My throttle hold is backwards, so I need to need to reverse that. Alright. Or unreverse that, right? Save, close. Let's see if we got something that can fly. So throttle hold is on. I'm in normal mode here. And we may as well get the transmitter display on here, right? Can you guys see that? I don't know how good you can see that. So that's my throttle hold. Here's my flight mode switches. which is backwards on the transmitter display is what I would want in real life but so I'm in normal mode throttle hold off Let's see what we 
get here? I got the sound way down. Got something going on with the <laughs> display here too. <laughs> so let's reset that. I'm not sure why we're stuck on the uh, display here, but we are. Well, the camera is not moving at all. What do we got going on with the camera? Zoom type. Let's try that. Yeah. Okay, so we have, uh, what do we have? We have rudder is right. One of the controls is, yeah, elevator is backwards. <laughs> so we'll fix the backwards elevator till here. Whoop. Edit. And unreverse the elevator. Save. Go back. Let's see if that flies. Normal mode. Throttle hold off. Left rudder. Yeah, so now we have a flyable machine. That should be... No Let's see if I throttle down. Two. Yeah, and again, I, again, I've got the, th the flight modes are still backwards. So i got to fix that. So flight mode here, just unreverse that, and that, then everything should be good. Okay, so normal mode, throttle hold off, throttle stick up, so there's normal mode. Stunt one. Stunt one or idle two. And then Stunt two. there's Yep, so we have a flyable machine now. Oh, you know what we didn't do? My pitch feels like insane. We didn't calibrate the stick. So we got to do that. I got I got like full full pitch, full throttle at half stick here. It just feels kind of funny. So we'll come on over here. And we'll calibrate that sucker. Center all controls, switches, knobs and things. And stuff. All right. Next, I have to sneeze. Okay. Move all channels to their fullest and such. Hey, look, we even have a, a dial on here that works. So that's not sure what that's mapped to. As long as nothing else is mapped to, that's good. We're not gonna mess that up. All right, so everything should be calibrated now. And okay, and now this thing should fly like, you know, decent. Stunt one, stunt two. Still feels really kind of... Not used to flying this on an actual transmitter. It feels a little... Yeah, it's it's... Real touchy on the pitch for some reason. Yeah, and then let's see if we got more negative than we have positive. Uh, it's hard to say. It feels weird though. Don't double check our. And I've had this kind of weird problem before too. And of course it's going to happen. So let's see. So we still have a throttle channel problem here and all my other channels are not doing it but the throttle is and I've had this problem with the dongle before let's reset the dongle and the transmitter just for the heck of it I don't know if you can do that they're gonna crash the sim dongles out back in turn the transmitter on so How about that? Oh uh, no, it's not working. So I'm not getting the right range out of the throttle here. It's kind of weird. So I know we calibrated, but let's try it again. So Y axis. See what's happening? It's it's somehow 
dongles feeding us a Z rotation here too. That'll confuse anybody. But I see what I gotta do. I need to make it so it's using this and not it needs to ignore this Z or whatever that is, I think. Well, fine, it wants me to do everything. Again, the y-axis is the one we want for that. So I'll just OK that and go back in. OK, so for throttle here, we want the we want the y-axis. Now that looks right. Let's see if that borked our pitch now or not. I think we're I think that's all we need, and I think that fixed it. So let's try to fly this and see how it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's behaving good now. Feels kind of like that. I'm on low rates, but might be this heli. So yeah, that works. And I can't tell if this is low rates or not. That feels pretty slow, but. So, um, I hate to eat up another channel, but let's go and check on the rates just to see what's going on there. Because low rates are not for me. We get too much wind here for low rates. So, channel 5, dual rates. For elevator unassigned. Dare I put that on that other channel just to see what we're doing. What I can also do is do that. That might just force it into high rates, right? I don't necessarily know what I'm doing when it comes to that, but I think that puts it in high rates or forces it. Yeah, so now I'm. Yeah, now we're high rates. You can tell that rudder's a lot faster. Pitch is proper, nice and even. Throttle hold, do an auto rotation, way out there. <laughs> Airplane auto. So, that's the basic setup. Oh, this is a long video. Um, that's the basic setup. So now I'm uh, all good to go. Always make sure everything gets saved by exiting the sim, right? Go back in. Make sure everything's good to go. Am I supposed to sing while this thing's starting up or what? Alright. So, um, I'll show one more quick thing is how I do my camera. Um, or how I prefer my camera. Still got our transmitter view. Let's make sure everything still works right out of the box. That looks good. I'll turn the audio back up on that a tad. Where is it? There you are. What do we get? It's probably too loud now, right? Can you still hear me talk? It looks like we're good. It's probably about right. Pork talks. Oh, I noticed it switched to the uh, shark copter from the whatever that other one was, just from restarting the sim. We'll do an auto rotation just like real life, from way, way up high. Crap, now I have no reference to where the stupid runway is. There we go. Throttle hold. I don't know how that's going to do. If we can make it over the fence. Nope. We broke one blade. Uh, two blades. Alright, so that's that. Reset. Space bar. Um, now I'm going to show you really quick how I like to do my camera. So, of course the phone's going to ring, right? I'm doing a video. It hasn't rang all day down here. 
start a video and somebody's calling. So, I like to go to, um, go into settings here, and then the camera, this is just my preference, and I'll explain why. So camera leg, I like to make the camera leg really high, like, um, usually as leggy as it'll go, maybe a little bit less, but 99 is as high as the camera leg will go. Um, I play on a very large screen. I, pay on, I play on like a 70 inch screen and I am about one foot from the screen. So, um, like a wider field of view. I think it can only go up to 90. That's the max. 90. That's going to make everything smaller, but I'm going to see a lot more on my screen. Watch what that does. See that? Not only that, I like to go to view here. Zoom type should be manual. So I think I can zoom out even a little farther if I want some more field of view. What this mainly does for me is the helicopter gets smaller and smaller as it goes far away. It doesn't zoom in. It's just like real life. It flies away from you. It turns into a tiny dot. And then, of course, I fly full screen. So let's give this a try. See how this looks. Oh, you'll see the difference in this camera delay, too. It's really easy to fly off the screen, but it gives you a much more real feel. To me, it does anyway. But on a big screen, this is great. I have a much wider view. See a lot more. The camera's not just following the helicopter ridiculously fast. Like it's, so it's a little, it's a little harder. It's easy to fly out of. Let's see if I can get to fly off the screen. No, I didn't do. Not sure where I have the delay, but anyway, I'm gonna check my camera delay just in case I got anything set backwards. Settings camera, because I might have that backwards. Um, I believe that's as much lag as you can give it. Let's try a low number just to see if it's. That's what I'm trying to do because it's no, that's definitely tracking the heli. I'll put that back up kind of high. Seems like I've been able to make it lag more than this before, but that's that's what are the what's the range? Uh, maximum is 100, so let's just try 100. Might be the wilder, the wider field of view that's making this seem like it's tracking pretty darn good, even with the tracking real slow. Yeah, see now it's having a little bit more of a tendency to look, look like it's going off the screen. There we go. So, yeah, this is how I like mine, how I normally fly. It makes for a crappy video because you're seeing, you know, I'm seeing a pretty good view of it way, way out there. But you know, if you're watching a video on your phone, all you're seeing is a dot. So, but. Anyway, that's how, that's an out-of-the-box setup. I haven't even really messed with the graphics details. That's out-of-the-box, setting it up with a WS-1000 dongle. And my DX9 transmitter, which should be pretty close to the guy asking about the DX8 transmitter. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry it was so stinking long. It's a lot of sun. Do an auto rotation and we'll end this sucker. I'll land it right on the circle, right? Maybe? Kinda? There we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. I only have 100 subscribers, so don't like or subscribe unless you think this is absolutely awesome. But then I need you to bring a thousand more subscribers because I'm not really after subscribers at this point, so. But, you know, I'll take a thousand if you send them my way. And uh, I'll make more videos where I try to help people out and not just uh, bare flying sessions where you don't really see see much of anything. Manual zoom is a cool thing, right? Uh, let me fly really quick with the... Uh, it looks kind of cool zoomed in like crazy. See, now the, with the zoomed in, you really get the the camera delay where <laughs> you really notice it.
Yeah, I lost. Whoa, lost it. So unless you get farther out, right? And then when you get anyway, you get the idea. Now I can't see anything except for the heli. So, and you can do less less zoom than that, right? That's a little too much zoom for what we're trying to accomplish. What do we got here? What's this going to do for us? You know, and I'm just trying to remember where that opening in the gate's at. I can't even see it at this zoom level hardly. Oh, there it is. Um, <laughs> now I don't know where the ground is. So we're uh, we're on auto rotation here and can't see the ground. Um, camera, come back. Here we go. <laughs> Anyway, that's that's some really really good fun you can have with the uh, camera camera zoom and uh, camera camera delay. So, you guys take care. Hope you enjoyed the video.